Hi, this is Neil Sound Dynasty. <clears throat> Buy some silver, some platinum, and some crystallized osmium because it's out there to be bought. And whatever. And be kind, helpful, and grateful because it's better than being a jerk, and that's not a whatever. Uh, none of this is financial advice. It's just uncommon knowledge. I've done reports. Egypt is building a river through the desert. Turkey. I think it was a Turkey. Not sure about Turkey. Afghanistan building a river. Oh, no, no. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia building an underground river. That video got taken down for some reason by uh, YouTube. But Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Afghanistan are all building rivers through their deserts to be food providers to the world. Congratulations. They're killing all the stuff in the West. Imagine that. See a trend? All right. Here's another one. Pakistan. The impossible build. Two days ago, Pakistan is building one of Asia's largest artificial rivers in the desert. Why are they doing that? Because over here in the West, all we're concerned about is killing off. All we're concerned about is killing off our farmers and our farms out here in the West, it seems like. And in Europe, all they're doing is killing farmers and killing the farms and trying to take away farming from us, take away our food supply. While in the Middle East and Asia and all these Islamic countries are trying to build rivers to be food producers to the world. So we will have to buy or be subservient to them for our food. Here's the fourth river being built in a desert. Farmers in Pakistan's Baluchistan province have battled relentless drought. Parched land and scarce water make it nearly impossible to grow crops, leaving many in poverty. But a bold solution is underway, the Kachi Canal Project. This ambitious undertaking aims to bring life to the desert by diverting water from the mighty Indus River. The canal will stretch over 350 kilometers with varying widths and depths to maximize water flow and a budget exceeding $360 million. Its initial phase alone promises to irrigate 102,000 acres, with future expansions targeting a staggering 712,000 acres of desolate land. The project involves the construction of massive headworks, regulators, and distribution channels to control and guide the water. Could the Kachi Canal transform this arid region into a thriving agricultural hub, improving the lives of thousands? And largest yet often overlooked province grapples with a relentless water crisis. Wonderside outdoor pest rainfall of only 250 millimeters annually, drastically lower than the national average of 860 millimeters, much of the landscape is dominated by unforgiving desert. This stark reality has crippling consequences for agriculture, the backbone of Baluchistan's rural communities. <coughs> Farmers struggle against the odds. Over 102,000 acres of parched land strain to yield crops, leaving families on the brink of food insecurity. Traditional farming methods that rely on inconsistent rainfall often fail, forcing many to abandon their ancestral lands and seek opportunities in overcrowded cities. The scarcity of water extends far beyond farming. Limited domestic supplies mean households rely on unreliable hand-dug wells or distant water sources, impacting sanitation and public health. Despite centuries of resilience and adaptation, Baluchistan's people face a mounting challenge. Population growth and the impacts of climate change place immense pressure on the region's already strained water resources. But amidst this hardship, a bold solution emerges, the Kachi Canal Project. This massive endeavor aims to be nothing short of a lifeline, diverting water from the mighty Indus River, Pakistan's lifeblood. The project envisions a network of canals stretching over 350 kilometers with varying widths and depths to optimize water flow. The potential is immense. This man-made river promises to carry water to thousands of acres of thirsty desert land. Could the Kachi Canal project truly unlock the potential of Baluchistan's arid lands, ushering in an era of water security and agricultural prosperity?
To answer this question, we must delve into the intricate details of this groundbreaking initiative, exploring the ambitious engineering and careful planning behind the canal's design. Let's break down the scale. The project's main canal will snake across the land for a staggering 499 kilometers. Think of it as a lifeline stretching across a vast distance, with 399 kilometers of this Grand Canal within Punjab province and the remaining 194 kilometers traversing the heart of Baluchistan. This complex project is divided into three phases, with each phase bringing water to a new region of the province. The good news is that the initial <laughs> phase, phase one, is now complete, marking a crucial milestone. Picture the starting point of this incredible journey, the Tonsa Barrage. Built across the vast Indus River in Punjab province, the barrage is the control point where water destined for the Kachi Canal is diverted. It feeds into the canal's headworks, a complex network of intake structures designed to regulate water flow, the beating heart of the project. From here, the main canal unfurls through the vast landscape. This is not merely a ditch, it's a carefully engineered marvel. Its dimensions, width, and depth change strategically based on the terrain it crosses. This ensures the canal delivers its precious cargo efficiently and prevents overflowing along the way. Moreover, a significant portion of the canal is lined with concrete. This acts like a giant pipe, minimizing water loss through seepage and ensuring every possible drop reaches the farmer's fields. Controlling the flow is vital for success. Regulators, strategically placed along the canal's length, function like adjustable gates, directing the correct amount of water into specific sections of the canal's network. This meticulous water management enables efficient distribution across vast agricultural regions. But the main canal is only the beginning. A smaller network of distributaries and watercourses branch off the main artery, ensuring the water reaches every corner of the agricultural lands. This allows farmers to redirect the much-needed water to their fields, heralding a new era of reliable irrigation. Baluchistan's unpredictable weather requires foresight. Flash floods could threaten the integrity of the canal, but the engineers have anticipated this. I'm a guy who lost the structures, designed like underpasses for excess water, cleverly protect the canal. This allows flood water to flow naturally beneath the canal, keeping the water supply uninterrupted. The Kanchi Canal project meticulously considers how to work in harmony with Baluchistan's existing infrastructure. Roads and railways, vital arteries for trade and connectivity, often intersect the canal's path. The design therefore incorporates carefully engineered bridges and crossings, ensuring these transportation links stay operational no matter the conditions. This demonstrates a commitment to seamless integration within the existing landscape. Complementing this network is the revitalization of the N70 National Highway, a crucial lifeline between Punjab and Baluchistan. This once narrow road, Riddled with treacherous bends and vulnerable to landslides, severely bottlenecked trade between the two provinces. Farmers faced difficulty transporting their produce, while businesses struggled to access markets for their goods. This posed a significant constraint on the economic growth of the entire region. Then, innovation stepped in. Seven strategic steel bridges, marvels of modern engineering, were constructed spanning a breathtaking 11.5 kilometers across the most challenging sections of the highway. These bridges conquer the rugged terrain, creating a safer and more efficient route through the mountainous landscape. This investment in transportation infrastructure directly supports the potential benefits promised by the Kachi Canal. Imagine the impact. Farmers, once restricted by the limitations of the road network, can now reach distant markets with confidence. The smooth flow of goods will stimulate commerce and boost economic activity along the route, benefiting not only farmers, but also businesses and communities dependent on trade with Punjab. The N70 National Highway transformation, hand in hand with the ambitious Kachi Canal project, lays the foundation for a more prosperous and integrated future for the people of Baluchistan. This
It actually, <clears throat> it actually does more than that. If in correlation with that, other countries are, are squishing and crushing their farming industry. Combine those two together and you have what's known as a money transfer. Money from the farming that gets crushed in one side of the world and that power that comes with feeding the world goes to the other side of the world and the economic and political control of that side of the world. So if you understand the dynamics of what's going on more long term here, you will fight harder to lessen the constraints on Western farmers and small gardeners here in America. And yes, there are a lot of constraints that you don't know about on small farms here in America and gardens, actually, even single tomato gardens. A lot of cool things, regulations put in by two administrations ago uh, that totally you need to check out and be vocal about getting changed if we ever get a true for the people, by the people government. But anyhow, that's another uh, video that I'll probably never do because I'll get a strike. Have a good night.